So good evening, everyone. Welcome to our success story of our one member who passed the ions and got 8.0, which is the best score, I think, for migration to Canada and any purpose and accept this score. So if you are ready, let's start. Please, can you start, Ma? Yeah. Okay. The good evening, Hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Yeah, good evening, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just wanted to be sure that there are people in the house. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. J for having me today and for all that you do for the IELTS and preparation group. It's amazing, your patience level and everything. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> First <of> story. <laughs> I don't know how to tell that, but um, I know that Jay said he would like me to hear my, uh, a few tips and strategies that I used in preparing for the exam. Okay, I, I took my exams on the 26th of September and I joined them, the group on Telegram sometime in August. And then I wrote in September, 26th of September precisely. And like you said, I had an overall band of um, eight, 8.5 listening, eight reading, 7.5 speaking and 7 writing, okay? And it is due mostly to the practice in the group and the help, the questions. Most times, like I say, I'm always often is overwhelmed in groups. And so I, I just stay silent, and, but I, I got a lot like a lot of tips from the group that I shared with. I so I used in practice and also shared with my husband so his own practice. So the group, yes, was very helpful. It was until the last week of my test, I think, that um, I visited one of uh, one of my tests that was critiqued by um, S star I deserved beautiful job that gives me all the confidence I needed. So for strategy, the first thing I did was to that we are unsuccessfully to this group in preparation. The first time I wrote Hello. Hello. Ma, can you hear us? Hello. Oh, network problem again. Oh my God. Hello. Let's give her a few seconds to figure out what's wrong with the network. Are you here? Something went wrong.
Wow. What happened? I don't know exactly. He left the meeting. Yeah, she's not on even. <laughs> she's not here. She's not here, actually. I will ask on Telegram. Oh, she's joining now. Come on, come on. She's here. Hello. Connecting to Audi. Are you here Hello, now? Hello, everyone. Wow. Thank goodness. You can start. I am. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Network, I don't know what happened. I'm quickly trying to recharge my other line and do that on me soon. Just so something like this, but the network is bad, bad and better. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, now, let, let, me, let me be fast now. So, um, in 2017, when I was going to write, my sister-in-law, like I said, sent um, material for us, and that was all the practice we did. I'm um, always in the in lazy study. I study very close to my exams and more like crash. So that was basically what I did. I never did any listening, just did the reading, read the instructions and went. And I think I had an overall band of 7.5 then. So um, coming to the art preparation group and the other IT group on them, Telegram was like an eye opener. And it also became scary <laughs> because when I was going for the other one, I had no expectation in mind. But you know, you know what they say that what you don't know can't kill you. So when when you go to a place that you do not know so much about, or go for something you don't know so much about, or the what or whatever, there is no fear in your heart. You just go like, let's just get this thing done. But this time it was different. So when I joined the group in um, August, and my eyes were open to so many things, sentence structure, my husband and I kept asking ourselves in 2017 when we wrote, did we even know anything like? Four paragraphs. We didn't know anything like word counts. We didn't even know anything about the strategy tips and listening and reading and all that. Like we went in blind, literally. So um, joining the group was my very first. Oh dear, can you hear me better? Yeah. Okay, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. And now I have a loud voice. I want to. Oh. <laughs> Well, our network is going bad again. So joining the group was my very key to win. So you're in the group already, so congratulations. Um, something again that I really, can I continue? Yes. Yeah, please do. Okay, okay. So um, the first thing I did, another thing I did rather, was that somebody shared her result on, um, on the group, and it was beautiful. I think it was 8.5 and 8 parallel. I was impressed, and I told her that I needed her tips. I private chatted mm -hmm. her that I needed her tips, and I'll be glad if she can help. And uh, Vivian, Vivian also, also is her name. So she helped, she started sharing um, a few materials with me. The ones she used mostly Cambridge That's strategies nice. for reading and writing. Okay. And I still wasn't that serious. So by first ending of um, August, uh, and my husband and I talked about it and we now decided that if I needed to be serious, I needed to know that there's a test coming up, like the date is counting. Because I hadn't registered then, so I was just doing one or two preparations. I was study today, read today, not read tomorrow. I was just doing more of and piling up of things that I needed to do, more like procrastinating. So we are, we are we agreed that I should register. That. So we registered for September twenty. Someone is just joining. Oh, come on. And that was when I really became serious. 
a little bit scared, but then I knew that there was something I must do. For me, there's something that spoils me. I don't like disappointing somebody. If I use my money to get something, I don't, and I may still not take it serious. But if somebody gets something for me, I give my everything because I really don't want to make you feel bad. I don't want to disappoint you. You trusted me. That was why I invested this thing on me. So my husband paid for my house, uh, my house exams, and I knew that I was not going to ask him for that money again. So the pressure was then there, and I started the preparation. So the second tip or strategy that I used was register. Even when I didn't feel like I was prepared, I registered. But I gave myself like one month or like three weeks or there about one month, with which I did intensive and study from when I, I registered. So I registered, and that gave me the zero. I started practicing reading. I did. I use that out online. I also use the Cambridge materials available uh, on the group. Uh, Vivian also helped me with um, private mat her, her materials that she used. And I also um, I also got um, materials. I think my sister in sent me one material. So I was using those and I used YouTube too. I did a lot of leads when it came to writing strategy, I think. I did a lot of leads, and then I practiced mostly with Cambridge, okay? One thing I would like to tell us here is don't go to the exam praying that this is easy. That's one thing I want you to know. I, on the day my husband was to write, I went to out the exam um, center with him. And we're just sitting outside, and he said, I'm really, really praying that they, I don't have maths for my listening, because I'm still finding that thing difficult. And I was like, what are you saying? Like praying, at this point, you can't be praying. You will write maps. There will be maps in your listening. So you, you don't need prayers right now. That's why God gave us time to prepare. God will only meet you where you, uh, you meet you at the level that you're prepared. That's where his grace will now augment it and make it bigger or higher or better for you. So if you have difficulty with maps, we have to tackle it. And we quickly left. Thank God it wasn't. We still had like 30 minutes. We went downstairs and we tackled map. And when he came back, he said map was like seven questions. And he was confident he did well. So don't pray any aspect. Like some people will say, I'm really praying that um, true, false, and not giving does not come in my writing or my listening or my anything. That, like, <laughs> that cannot be a prayer you're making. Rather, if you know that I'm having difficulty in this aspect, please go spend every other thing and give it your best. Like, give it everything until you know that you're good with it. From the beginning, I was very bad with them. True force and not giving to. I was like, I'm not understanding this thing. Please let it not come in my exam. There were some practice I did, and it will be from the beginning. You'll see like four true force and blah, blah, blah. And then at the end again, like those 10 straight questions, you still see true or false there again. I'll be like, Lord, I don't want this in my exams. And then something oh. spoke to me like, why not master it instead of praying that it shouldn't come? So I, I, instead of praying that I don't have it, I guess it. Hello? Hello? Continue. Hello. Uh, can I? Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. I thought someone was calling me. So instead of praying that I don't find it, I practiced it until I became a little bit confident about it. Okay. Another um, tip I would, I would like to give is do not um, do not grade yourself by your practice. While I think that practice is very important, like it's very very good. Don't get depressed. Don't get the de um, discouraged because you're having 35 and then you're going back to take the score like 35 is not it yet 35 is not what i need yet don't do that you already go into the exam uh, into the test uh, as an scared person and you know what fear does to us it already paralyzes even what you know you will not know it again so don't do that when you're practicing practice to understand how to write rather than practicing to get the highest. 
I don't know whether somebody is getting me. Like, instead of being frustrated when you practice and don't get 38, be excited that you understand why you failed what you, under, you failed. There are sometimes you'll be so sure that this one, you have got to make 40. And by the time you mark yourself, it should be like 35, 34, and you'll be like, what is this nonsense now? What, what just happened here? Don't, don't, don't be downcast. Instead, go back to those ones you failed and be like, why did I fail it? Okay, they use synonym or there was something like, this. oh, I missed this point. This was where they said it. How, how, how was the voice when they mentioned this in the listening? Or how was this said? Was this insinuated in the reading? It is this tip that will help you in the answer. You may be practicing a difficult uh, test, uh, test sites or something during, the, during your practice. Mm -hmm. And when you get to the exam, you get, uh, you get, you get easier tests. Mm -hmm. And you can also be practicing easier tests during practice and get to the test day and get the very difficult one. So really, getting 38 for the practice is no guarantee that you're going to get 38 for listening. Why? It will boost your confidence and make you better. Or when you're entering the exam, so it's not really what matters. What matters is, are you understanding the test, your, the practice you're doing? That, it, like, if you, if, you, if you said something was true and later saw that it wasn't given, you have to read that sentence over and over and over yeah. again to be to say, why did they say not giving when I actually saw a sentence similar to this? You will find the loophole. You will find what went wrong there. And that is going to be, as in that's going to be your weapon when you enter exam. As soon as you see a similar um, question where they are trying to mess with your head, you'll be like, nah, I know this thing already. That is what you should be aiming yeah. at. Why am I failing? Learn the strategy. This is a strategy you need in the exam hall and not the, the plenty practice or the all the 38 you're having during practice. Um, okay, we've talked about um, practicing and uh, we've talked about um, strategy. Okay, for writing, we already know the paragraph, we already know the, uh, the Jay has been doing a lot on how to formulate your ideas in, in, in very short timing and all that, so that you can get on to writing. Um, as you may have noticed, writing was actually my list in, in, in my... Okay. But I didn't bother remarking on anything. I didn't prove it my work, read my work. I also, I actually only come was that. I was trying to make my idea perfect. And this is one thing they have always been telling us that. Um, my OCS test is not about correct or not correct. It is a test of your language ability, not about the how correct or how true what you're saying. Uh, for the test I was given, I was looking for the perfect and I kept writing, erasing, writing, and erasing because I wanted something really convincing and true and all that. That was my mistake, and I'm sure that was why I had seven for writing. So I didn't bother doing anything like uh, remarking. So please don't do that mistake. Like if, if an idea, if you see a text question, like my question was about um, getting, um, I think, our culturization, something like that, um, different culture for different people and when people travel to different places, should they adopt the culture of the people, way of dressing, greeting and all, or should they stick to their own? So I was looking for that perfect story. Please, if it is an idea that just pops into your head, kindly run with it. Just, just make sure you can formulate 250 stories, <laughs> 250 words from the story okay. that is in your head. Then run with it. Uh, you, you already know the important things, your paragraph structure, your complex sentences, uh, how best to uh, answer true for, uh, sorry, um, agree on or disagree. To what extent do you agree? Discussion, discuss both sides and give your opinion. A lot of practice have been done on that. But what, you already know these things, but what may now drag you back was what kept me back, which was trying to get the perfect idea. You may never 
get that exam exam condition is not when you are home <laughs> it's not you've been doing this test within one hour and you're writing something beautiful but exam condition is different so don't waste your time trying to um, formulate perfect ideas just go with what enters your head and you've seen that your thought and you've seen that you can actually create up to 250 words or more from this story please run with it and for speaking to, I think a, a lot of practice has been done. Um, I, I practiced on my text. Um, sorry, I didn't practice on my text days because I have wrote that. That's, an, that's another strategy I do. If you keep reading, 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 see you're entering exam hall, your, your head will become hot. I take a break close to my exam, which was the exam days. I just make sure well, uh, I didn't stress myself much again, no. What I did was the night before, I now listened to, I can't remember this lady now on YouTube, I listened to some of her strategy for speaking, um, like some words to avoid. I think 30 words to avoid doing speaking. I don't know, that was what I did. And I, I, I kept that on locked in, and that was all I did about practice. By the time we got to the test, it was just playing whatever you have studied. If um, whatever we have studied during the, um, all the practice, I just did that and made sure I was calm. So for my speaking, uh, <laughs> it was it was easy, but I'm already a fair speaker. Let me not say good. Let me be modest. Yeah, you are. I'm already a fair speaker, so I don't have <laughs> I don't have stage fright or I don't I don't fidget when I am in front of people. Uh, by the grace of God, I've, been, uh, I've had the opportunity at a very early stage to address crowds and all that. So I don't have stage fright, which is something if you do, please work on it. Those people, some of those examiners are, <laughs> some of those examiners are, uh, <laughs> are not your friends. They are not police that they tell you that police is your friend. <laughs> no, they are not your friends. They are there as examiners and... <laughs> And, and they are not looking at your face, like you say in Nigeria. So they'll just be bombarding you with wife, the wife, the wife. Okay, what's your name, Olivia? Why? Okay, uh, where do you live? I live here. Why? As in, they won't. They won't even smile at you. They won't look at you. So if you, I, uh, they won't even smile or look at you. So if you're somebody that needs the approval of people to get your confidence, it will affect you. So please. Go with your own confidence from your house. They won't give you or they may not give you. Like my first test, I got a very friendly examiner. Uh, like I said, I went there in novice and hardly knew anything. He kept encouraging me with his hands, like keep talking, keep talking and all that. But he helped and he was smiling and was calm. But this one was a lady. You know us ladies, when we are examiners, <laughs> we, we are extras. <laughs> I used to pray so against him. not smiling at all. <laughs> <laughs> she, she wasn't smiling at all she just she was just why 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 and we kept going even at the point i think towards the end of my question i tried to you know how they tell us always go from an angle or use the angle or use hook when you want to start when they ask you what is your name just don't, don't go and say my name is olivia no it's not about what is your name question now but you know how they tell us, don't go straight to the answer, give a little or a background, then give them the answer. I, I, I tried to do it at one point, as she told me, no, uh, not, not about you now, but generally. And I, I, I had to tell her, because I know she, she, may, not go into, she may not be the one to, to score me or grade me or something. So for the recording, I needed to be clear. I said, yes, I know you said general, but I was actually trying to come from my own point of view because I, before I say, uh, I speak generally, I wanted to come from my own point of view. That already shows that I knew what I, where I was going to. I wasn't lost. So she, she didn't cut me to correct me. It may have or may have um, affected my scores and all that. So I see, I just said, yes, I was actually going there. I wanted to start from, I, I wanted to start by giving uh, example of talking about my experience on this subject and I said okay and I continued so please go with your confidence that's one thing you will need they ask you a question you do not understand ask them back don't go and start saying what you, they didn't ask you 
because you're scared of asking. It is better, in fact, best, best you ask and they clarify, uh, clarify for you than saying of yeah, you after you be lost. Mm -hmm. You now start telling the stories of different things. Like when my husband came back from his speaking test, he told me, he, they asked him, what did they ask him? Opinion. They asked him about opinion. That what does he think about people and, and their opinions? And, he, and I think he answered, and then I said, what opinion has he held that changed over time? Instead of talking about opinion, he actually talked about decision, the decision he made that he changed. When he came out of the test and told me, I smiled, but I didn't want to damper his confidence. So I, I, I let him. Later, like um, 10 minutes later, he was like, wait, this answer that I gave, was it decision or opinion? <laughs> and I laughed. I said it was actually decision, but I didn't want to make you feel bad. But uh, from the way you, from the angle you came and the way you related it, it sounded like opinion, but you talked about the decision you made that you changed your mind, not necessarily an opinion you held. So instead of answering a wrong question, please, or answering a question wrongly, ask them to clarify you. I did. Actually, I asked her that I didn't get that. Can she rephrase or repeat? And she rephrased, explained it in layman's language for me. <laughs> and, and then I, I attempted it. So please ask. Don't be scared. Nobody's going to flog in that place for coming for, 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 uh, for coming in, saying you're 75,000 I have to do a test. Go there with all the confidence you can get. Anything that gives you confidence, please. Make sure you do that that day. Some people get get uh, get bolder, more confident when they do their exercises, some when they pray, uh, some when they talk to certain kind of people and they encourage them. Do it and go with your truckload of confidence. Nobody will give you there, or nobody might give you there. A lot of people came out of that speaking test that day, and when we met at the general test, they they were complaining that that woman was not friendly at all. She was as in because her face was just thrown. See the other man, in his, in his, uh, his students say he was friendly and all that. So I didn't even know. She was just asking me why, why, why. I didn't even know what I said. So don't let something like that happen to you. Please go with your truckload of confidence. And like I said, take a break close to your test date. It has, it has proven to be very helpful. Don't jump pack your brain. You will get there. I have thought this so much for something that I got to the exam hall. I wasn't sure whether the answer that was in the front of my head was for question one. I knew everything in that paper. Like, like if they tell me attempt or oh, sure, which one was the answer to oh, or don't do that. Your brain will just we are human. We are humans. Even computers are crashed at the point when it's overloaded and overheated. So please take a break close to your to your test. Study at your pace. Because people are sleeping on the on the group money tonight practicing, don't be under any form of pressure. Like um, a education um, counselors will say, or instructors, I don't know what they call them now, will say every child has their learning pattern. At this stage, for you to be trying to write um, trying to write mm -hmm. out exams, you must uh, you are you are a grown person. So I'm sure through your learning from primary to secondary and tertiary education. You must have understood your learning pattern. Stick to it. Do not allow um, pressure to, to make you lose your mark at this time. That I studied for three weeks or one month, and 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 um, sorry, I'm reading. We have five Okay. That I studied and um, for three weeks and, and got a band aid does not mean you should study for three weeks and get a band aid. Like somebody I met at this thing said he studied for just one week. I, I didn't get his number, so I don't know how. his result is. He may have done better than the group that said they want to start practicing as to write in April. That's fine. That's not too long for them. They, they, that, 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 probably they are slower uh, or they will understand. They want to get there and get 999 or something. That is their way. So don't follow somebody and learn with your pattern. Know your own learning pattern and stick to it. Thank you very much. Again, for having me. Thank you very much, Mr. Jacob. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, 
before uh, before ending the set, you can see her performance eight overall with a bad score, and they each are more than seven. It's beautiful, so beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your tips were. Somebody said um, listening. I, I didn't talk about listening. I actually thought I did. Jay, can I quickly do that for? Yeah, you have three minutes. One minute. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um, um, listening. Sorry, I actually thought I covered it when I was talking about. Um, reading and, and listening earlier. For listening, what I did, I, I first of all listen for uh, before I start the listening test, I see the overall as in, of, you know the introduction, they always say you you see a, a cashier talking to this person about this. I already have the overall idea of what their discussion is going to be centered on. If you get to map, I keep uh, I go to north, west, north, south. I just use my eyes to browse around the map. I already know what, by the time you say, if you're going to the school library, pass through this main gate, I already know where the main gate is. So that is the first thing you should do as you're practicing now. Know your geography, north, south, east, and west. Know it first. Then when they say northwest, you know that northwest will be coming from up. So this way, that's uh, your left. Now let me use my left. From up or uh, to this way is the the, the the whole of that angle to your right is a uh, northwest. When I say southwest, you know it's from down to your left. If they say general, I did general. If they say um, uh, northeast, you also know that it's from up to your right. So if you know this things, it will make it easier for you. Know the general um, idea of the listening, it will help you, you as in, with all the numerous practice you've done, you are, it will already give you an idea what to be looking at. Then of course, like they always advise, look at the question. I don't bother checking my answers because there's little or nothing we can actually do. It's not like anybody is replaying the, replaying the, the, the uh, what is it called, the audio for you. So that, that time that they give you to check your answers, actually use it to go check the next question because I'm going to have 10 minutes to transcopy, so I will use that time to check for spellings and the rest. So I don't go back to check my answers when they say check your answer. I didn't write my answers in capital letters. I wrote my answers, every first letter of my answer was capital letter, and the rest were small letters. Uh, capital letter may slow me down, and I wasn't very confident about it. So what I did was the first Later of all the all my answers for for listening were all in capital letter and the rest that sentence um, whatever is what I used I didn't use capital letter. Okay, and we have um, just been a minute. Um, oh, I I did. Yeah, yeah, finish it automatically. If it, sorry guys, sorry I don't I can't manage this issue and here. Anything you want to tell? Hello. Yeah, thank you very much, Jay and Olivia. I really enjoyed this session. Thank you. Really, thank you, Ma. Thank you, and congratulations. Hello. Thank you.